Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the benefits of rechargeable hearing aid technology and why most hearing aid users are starting to ditch their disposable battery hearing aids. Coming up. It is no secret that rechargeable hearing aids are becoming much more popular among hearing aid users. In my clinic, for instance, rechargeable hearing aids now account for over 50% of hearing aids dispensed, but it didn't always used to be this way. Rechargeable battery technology has been around for a while, but there's two big limitations when it comes to hearing aids. Number one, these batteries were just way too big to be placed inside of hearing aids, and when they eventually got the size of these batteries down to a point where you could put them inside of a hearing aid, they wouldn't even power a hearing aid all day long, which is obviously a necessity for someone with hearing loss. Zinc air button batteries have always dominated the hearing aid space because half of the chemical compound comes from the oxygen that we breathe that mixes in with the zinc compound inside of the button cell, which means that these batteries are incredibly small and long lasting. But these disposable batteries are not without their drawbacks, and there are a lot of them. First of all, these button cell batteries can be extremely dangerous. According to the American Association of Poison Control Centers, there are approximately 3,500 negative incidents involving children and pets. They are also incredibly bad for the environment since you throw away up to 800 dead button cell batteries over the course of an average hearing aid lifespan and all of these batteries end up in a landfill. These batteries can be extremely hard to change for individuals with poor finger dexterity. These batteries can go out in the worst possible moment and having a battery door that opens and closes is just another area for debris and moisture to enter a hearing aid. Now earlier versions of rechargeable hearing aid batteries came in the form of nickel metal hydride technology and silver zinc technology, both of which had their problems. One of them just didn't give you a very long battery life and the other one had extreme reliability issues. Then along came lithium ion rechargeable battery technology which completely changed the landscape of the hearing aid industry. But before I get into why rechargeable hearing aids are increasing so much in popularity. If you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that will give you a notification every single time I post a new video and I post new videos every single week. With that out of the way, I really appreciate it and a big thank you to Phonak, today's video sponsor, but more on them in a little bit. First, let's take a look at why rechargeable hearing aids are becoming so popular. When the first lithium ion hearing aids came out, it was the first time that we could have all day battery life on just a short three hour charge. This meant that you could wake up in the morning, take your hearing aids out of the charger, put them in your ears, wear them for an entire day without having to worry if your batteries were going to die on you. Lithium batteries are also very quick to charge. Now I already mentioned that a three hour charge could get you battery life for an entire day, but if you happen to run low on your battery or you forget to charge them, just putting them back into your charger for 15 minutes will typically give you an additional three hours of battery life. Most of these lithium batteries could also last you for multiple years as opposed to other forms of rechargeable battery technology that will typically start dying after one year. Rechargeable technology also means that you can throw away the magnet tool that you would typically use to change your disposable batteries because there is no battery to change anymore. You just take the hearing aids, put them in your charger at night, take them out in the morning and you're good to go. Not to mention the convenience factor. I mean, pretty much everybody has a cell phone or a smartphone nowadays that you need to plug in at night to charge it up. Well, when you do that, all you do at the same time is plug in your hearing aids. With this increased battery life, reliability, and convenience, it is no surprise that lithium battery technology is becoming much more of the norm inside of the hearing aid industry. And this is exactly why Phonak, today's video sponsor, is tripling down on the development of their rechargeable hearing aid lineup. Phonak released the first lithium battery hearing aid back in 2016 with the Phonak Audeo Belong. And since then, they've released the Phonak Marvel Rechargeable, the Phonak Paradise Rechargeable, and the Phonak Life Rechargeable hearing aids. Over the past six years, the adoption rates for these rechargeable hearing aids has significantly increased and now account for approximately 75% of all Phonak hearing aids dispensed. According to Phonak, their newer rechargeable 
rechargeable battery technology is 40% more reliable than their previous generation disposable battery technology. And hearing aid users are 30% more satisfied with rechargeable hearing aids than they are with disposable battery hearing aids. Well, a big reason for this increased adoption and satisfaction is definitely due to all the benefits that I mentioned of rechargeable technology a little bit earlier, but it also has to do with all the additional features that you get inside of a rechargeable battery hearing aid as well. One of these additional features is the use of a motion sensor inside of a rechargeable Phonak hearing aid. The motion sensor allows the hearing aid to identify if you are moving around or if you are sitting still, which helps the hearing aid identify which program settings would be more ideal for those situations. However, this motion sensor also gives you access to one of my personal favorite features, which is the double tap feature. The double tap feature allows you to simply double tap your ear to answer or end phone calls, to double tap your ear to pause and start streaming from your smart device, and to double tap your ear if you want to activate your voice assistant. Another feature that is available for a rechargeable Phonak hearing aid is the Activent receiver. An Activent receiver allows you to reap all of the benefits from an open vented hearing aid for use in most situations, but it also allows you to close the vent of that hearing aid if you want to get better better stream quality of music, or if you want to hear better in a background noise situation. I believe that the Activent receiver is one of the biggest innovations inside of the hearing aid industry since the release of the first lithium ion hearing aid. Now, if you want to learn more about the Activent receiver, I have a review of that particular receiver in the description below. This use of rechargeable lithium ion battery technology has also led to the development of the Phonak Slim and Phonak Audeo Fit hearing aids, which now gives Phonak four Four different rechargeable hearing aid options. All signs point towards lithium battery technology becoming the new norm inside of the hearing aid industry, taking the title away from disposable battery hearing aids that have completely dominated the hearing aid space for decades. At this point, hearing aid manufacturers can do way more with the rechargeable battery hearing aid than they can with the disposable battery hearing aid. And given the mainstream acceptance of lithium ion rechargeable battery technology in other industries such as consumer electronics, and electric vehicles, we have every reason to believe that the future of hearing aids is going to be with rechargeable batteries. So if you're still currently using a disposable battery hearing aid as you watch this video, I just want you to prepare yourself because that may be the very last disposable battery hearing aid that you ever use. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, Dr. Cliff a dot com.